So I guess I was just at that age when your heart starts to go pitter pat. And uh, but I thought she was the prettiest woman I'd ever seen. And uh, so, uh, but, but I didn't see the whole movie for, until for seven years later. I think I saw Day, Days of Wine and Roses on network television a few, uh, a few years later when I was about 13. And I felt so mature that I was watching this very dramatic, emotional movie. Uh, you know, one of the social issues of the day. So uh, uh, that was my introduction to uh, the and uh, I became a hardcore fan I mean, for years later. Um, and what surprised me is apparently that wasn't such a unique phenomenon because I think this is some kind of Guinness record. She actually has had three songs written about her, all entitled Lee Remy. Wow. So uh, you know, she was never a super duper star, really, but uh, she must have been everybody's muse, or everybody would have tasted it. <laughs> So uh, we're going to start off with a very light-hearted song uh, by an Australian group called the Govidoines. And uh, you'll have to excuse the fact that I think they got her nationality wrong. I know that Lee Remick was born in Quincy, Mass. So just a hop, skip, and a jump from my hometown in Maine. But uh, uh, they thought she was born in Ireland for some reason. <laughs> anyway, it's called uh, Lee Remick by the Govidoines.